Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this very awesome and elegant song called Married Life from Up. Okay, so here we go. Give you a preview of what you're going to learn today's lesson. It goes like this. Pretty awesome stuff. <laughs> But anyway, yes, regardless, let's go ahead and break up the lesson and learn how to play this awesome theme. Okay, here we go. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Break it up into four parts for this lesson, okay? So, this is how the four parts goes, okay? Um, right hand, the first part goes like this. Starts on the F up here, so middle C is here for reference. We go up an octave to this C, go up to this F, that's where we start. So it goes F, A, F, E, F, A, down to E, D, D, F, D, C, like that for the right hand. That is the first part for the right hand. One more time, so it goes like this, it goes F, A, F, E, F, A, E, D, D, F, D, C, like that for the right hand. So that's the right hand for the first part. Once you get that, left hand we have four chords here. The four chords are F major, which is F, A, C. Second chord is um, second inversion of A minor, which is E, A, C. Third chord is D minor, which is D, F, A. And the fourth chord is second inversion of F major, which is C, F, A. So right now we're doing block chords. Later on I'll t tell you uh, how to do the pattern where I showed you in the beginning, okay? But block chords are the way to go, then afterwards I'll tell you exactly how to do that pattern with the, that I showed in the preview. But anyway, with that in mind, the four chords, F major, second version of A minor, D minor, and the second version of F major, okay? So with those four chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first, E and F major together. Next chord by itself, right hand comes in. D and D minor together, C and second version F major together, just like that. One more time, so it goes like this. Let's get on. counts in threes in this song because it's actually a triple time song. It's always one, two, three, one, two, three. It's kind of like this waltz kind of thing. Pretty awesome. But anyway, that is the first part. Once you get the first part out of the way, let's move on to the second part. Right hand continues in the second part as goes D up to A, G, D, A, G, F, D, like that. And that's the second part. One more time for the second part. So it goes like this. It goes D, A, G, D, A, G, F, D, like that for the right hand. So that's the right hand for the second part. So once you get that left hand for the second part, we have four chords. The four chords are three G major chords, which is G, B, D, so three of them, so two, three. Fourth chord and second inversion of G major, which is D, G, B. Yes, so with these four chords in mind, so G major for three times, followed by second inversion G major. The two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts with the D up to A and G major together. A and G major together, D and G major together, and then chord by itself, just like that. One more time, so it goes like this. Together, 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 two, three, here, just like that. And that is the second part, okay? So, so far, the two parts that I've learned will be played back to back like this. Check it out. Moving on to the third part, the third part right hand continues, it goes F, G, F, E, E, G, E, C, C, E, C, B flat, like that. And that is the third part. One more time for the third part, so it goes like this, it goes F, G, F, E, E, G, E, C, C, E, C, B flat, like that for the right hand. So that's the right hand for this third part. Okay. So once you get that left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are C major, which is C, E, G. Uh, let me see. 
Oh, let's do it here. Okay, it's a C major here. Okay, let's just do it here. Da -da -da. Okay, yeah, it's a C major. That's the first chord. Okay, I just don't want to clash the notes. Okay, so that's C major. And then the second chord is a second version of E minor, which is B, E, G. And then third chord, we have this C7 with B flat bass, which is actually B flat C, E, G. So you can say it's C major with B flat bass if you want. Okay, okay. And then we have um, C7 with G bass which is G, B flat, C, E. Okay, so with those four chords in mind, so yeah, it's a bit harder these chords because there are some four note chords here that is not the ones that you always do. So one more time, the four chords are C major, which is C, E, G. Second chord is E minor, with a second inversion, which is B, E, G. The next chord is C7, you can also say it's C7 third inversion, or C7 with B flat bass, which is B flat, C, E, G. And the fourth chord is C7, Second version, if you want to call it, or C7 G bass, same thing. Just G B flat C E, just like that. So remember those four chords. Just gotta practice it, okay? But anyway, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first, E and C major together. Chord by itself. Right hand comes in, C and the next chord together. Right comes in, next chord together, just like that. One more time, so it goes like this. Let's get on two, three here. And that is the third part. So, so far, back to back, the three parts that everyone will be playing like this. Check it out. Like that. Moving on to the fourth and last part of the section after the B flop goes down to the G and then goes two A's. Flat C D E C D E like that. And that's it for the right hand. For this fourth part, one more time. So it goes like this. It goes G A A B flat C D E C D E like that for the right hand. So that's the right hand for this fourth part. Okay. Once you get that left hand, we have chord two chords here. Actually, four chords here. Okay. So it goes. Um, actually, it's two chords, okay, it's two, <laughs> don't worry, it's two chords. Um, it goes F major, F, A, C, and C major, which is C, E, G. Okay, because the two chords just make it more spread out, and it sounds a bit more better as like an ending phrase, ending of a phrase, okay? So F major and C major, with that in mind, so it goes like this. Um, right hand goes start, A and F major together. Okay, essentially you can play the F major again here. C major by itself, and then you play E and C major together as well. So let's just call it four chords, okay? So for the sake of this, okay? So it goes two F majors and two C majors, or else you can just hold the F major and hold the C major since they're repeating chords, okay? So, okay, one more time. So it goes like this. Together, together, here, together, like that. Okay, yeah, just do it as four chords. It makes it easier afterwards for me to teach you the pattern. So yes. Anyway, back to back, the four parts normally are with the melody and chords, block chords, we'll play like this. And you'll repeat it, but anyway, yeah, that's that. Let's go ahead and teach you the left hand pattern now to apply. So it's pretty simple, this pattern. What you do, turn all the chords, so for all your chords, right? What you wanna do is do this pattern. You play the lowest note for the first note, and then the other two notes of the three beats, you know how it's triple time, play the higher two notes, like that. So for the F major, it'd be like this. Next chord, same thing. D minor, same thing, same thing. Yeah, 
much it. Pretty simple once you apply that pattern. But anyway, as for now, hope you enjoyed this lesson of this very nice and elegant song. Enjoy learning this for yourself. And as for now, check out my other piano tutorials on this channel. I have over 2,500 piano videos for you to enjoy and learn from. So a lot of stuff. Anyway, if you like this teaching method, go ahead and also check my website out, bestpianomethod.com, to learn more about everything. And as for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.